Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Norton number C rebuilt or repaired potbelly or traditional style door closer. So this is what a Norton C would look like. We call these potbellies. Um, I don't know the um, origin of that uh, term. They are all called, mo in a modern sense, they're called traditional door closers. Closers like this you can certainly easily see in catalogs dating from the 1930s, the 1940s, the 1950s. Um, they're still sold today. They're still available. These types of traditional style or potbelly style closers are, or at least the ones currently made by Yale and Norton, are considered grade three. Uh, which is the lowest grade rating available on a piece of hardware that has been uh, tested to ANSI standards. They're also con they are also most certainly non-handicap compliant, so they don't see their way around in new installations um, because of the former uh, reason, certainly, but the latter is the problem. If you have got a public, prop a public uh, access, uh, not not being handicap compliant, of course, is a violation of established law, federal law. Uh, so really where we see uh, closers like this being worked on is either repairing one that's been working happily since the 1950s, uh, several decades later, um, or even, and most recently, selling them to be used on a prop, as a prop on a TV show. Uh, so this TV show was emulating mid-century, uh, courtroom and they literally ordered four uh, potbelly closers, new ones, um, so that this environment in which they were creating the TV show uh, would be period correct. And sure, there you go. But we do sh certainly repair them. So there are potbellies made by a, un to me, an unknown quantity of manufacturers, names that have been long uh, either out of business or have been uh, absorbed by other companies. The material has not been manufactured, and I can only think of maybe two companies that I could source these from. Um, currently, there are probably more. Uh, some import companies probably still make them, uh, but there's not a lot of options in terms of new. The fact of the matter is, because they're so robust and they are reliable and predictable, I do question how they're only grade three. How is it that they made this closer in 1950? and it survived, who can guess, the quantity of cycles, hundreds of thousands of cycles, and just you know needed a repair possibly 70 years later. So anyway, uh, how do you know that this is a C? Well, it's stamped on both sides of the plug on the ends. And that is a, a reference to the size of the closer that you're working on. This weighs about 6.6 .6 pounds. This is the after picture. This is what it looks like after we took whatever it looked like after decades, and I don't have pictures of the original, after decades of use, this has been completely stripped down, cleaned, parts replaced, brought back to either factory original standards or better than, because material science in 2019, uh, the year that this video is being made, is certainly far superior to, probably far superior to material science in 1950, maybe. Um, there are two options on a closer like this for us. We can repair yours. You send it to us, we repair it, we send it back. We can, in some instances, send you one up front if we happen to have one that's repaired, ready to go. You swap the, the units out, then you send us back the old one. In the exchange, which is the latter uh, uh, program, you receive, a, you, you pay substantially more up front as an incentive to send back the old one, and then you are given a core refund when the original unit is sent back. Nowadays, I'm finding that a lot of these old closers uh, that are long discontinued, the shop just doesn't have any available to ship out, so a repair is really the only option. And this is what your Norton C looks like. Lots of options to select on the right-hand side. We need to know, um, first of all, we can repaint your arm for a slight charge. We can repaint your corner bracket. We need to know if you're going to be sending those pieces back. If not, then you select no. We need to know if this is installed on a corner bracket. You have to tell us the handing of the door. 
but we also have to know if it's installed on a corner bracket so that when we reassemble it, it is installed, reassembled in the correct handing because a right hand door that is installed on a corner bracket is reassembled as a left hand. It's the opposite handing and we need to know that information. So the handing, the finish, this client obviously selected 689 aluminum finish. This decal is certainly not original. This is something that the repair shop makes up and puts it on there to make it look period uh, correct. Okay. Um, whether or not we're gonna do an exchange or a uh, repair, and then we need to know uh, the method of mounting, whether it's on a corner bracket or it's not. And a corner bracket is literally a piece of metal that is mounted to the frame. In most instances, they, I have seen them mounted to the doors. Um, and then the closer body is mounted to that bracket and then the arm to the door. So we need to know that. Now, I'll provide you with a couple of basic dimensional properties of this. The overall height of the mounting plate on the back about inch and 15 sixteenths. The center line of the screw holes looks like it's about about an inch and three sixteenths. Overall width about four and a half. Center line of those mounting holes appears to be about three and three quarter. I'm trying to hold that steady. Maybe, th maybe three and five eighths. Okay. Um, there are going to be uh, information in the casting of the parts in the back. If you would like to, that's probably a casting number. The 301M um, could very likely be the casting number from whoever Norton had produced this casting, this iron, cast iron cast, casting. Um, feel free to send us photographs of your material for unsure of what we are able to identify it as. We'll be able to take that information and identify it for you so that we have the proper unit uh, understood ahead of time. And that's it. There is a link below this video to the Norton page where you can pull up their catalog of the modern style uh, or the, the current uh, available traditional or pot belly style door closers. And if you have any questions on the exchange or the repair on any of your antiquated uh, antique um, historically correct um, door closers. Uh, we have repaired closers that are 10 years old and we've repaired closers that are 110 years old and um, certain instances like a traditional closer yeah there are times when it's just easier uh, or maybe n not impossible to switch to a modern closer that will give you a warranty beyond the standard one year that will give you handicap compliance and a grade one rating. But there are certain other closers that you can't. They're floor closers, whereby the door is literally hung on an arm that's connected to the closer. Removing that closer disables the door thoroughly. Uh, so you'd have to worry about a way by which to hang the door. And there are some closers that just aren't manufactured today. Rick's and a sister company of Norton manufactured a smaller format. It looks like a pot belly, just a little bit smaller that actually worked on double acting doors. Uh, so they had a, a, the door would be hung on double acting hinges and this pot belly would literally work as a double acting uh, closer. You're not gonna find a double acting pot belly style door closer made today. This client's got a pair of doors on the front of his five and dime, you know, on, on, uh, you know store uh, in a historic downtown area. Yeah, he's going to repair those, is the bottom line. They could have been archtop. Well, they weren't archtop. They were, um, you know, decorative doors. There may have been a transom. Um, so preserving the original look of 1940s small town USA is what the client absolutely wanted to do. Any questions on the rebuild or the exchange of the Norton Potbelly Series closers or any other repair or exchange service, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.